Novak Djokovic went from growing up in Serbia, finding his passion for tennis when he was just four years old, to becoming one of the greatest tennis players of all time. At the time of this filming, he has won 14 Grand Slam singles titles and is the first person since 1969 to hold all four major titles at the same time. He's a big believer in the power of meditation and has been known to meditate for up to an hour a day at the Buddhist temple in Wimbledon. Need motivation? Watch a top 10 with Believe Nation. What's up, Believe Nation? It's Evan. I believe in you, and this channel is designed to be a part of your daily success routine. So let's get your motivation to a 10. Here's my take on Novak Djokovic's top 10 rules for success. Okay, let's kick it off with rule number one, dream big. Belgrade, as many cities uh, around Serbia, has suffered a lot because of war. Many people have had a, the doubt of what tomorrow brings. They were not certain they are able to support their children. And uh, in this particular situation were my parents too. Knowing what we have been through uh, actually strengthened my, my character. I used to run around outside of our restaurant and uh, very nearby something was going on, some kind of construction. I asked the workers and then they told me that they're building tennis courts. I never heard the word tennis. Uh, I knew football and some other sports, but uh, tennis was absolutely new to me and to my family fell in love instantly with the sport. I used to play for hours uh, against the wall. On the television, I watched Pete Sampras play for his first Wimbledon title. That's when I decided to dream big and dream about being one day on the center court of Wimbledon and holding that trophy. Rule number two, have a winning mindset. Something you said there, you, you, you're reaching your peak. Do you think, though, you can still take it to another level, or do you think this is as good as it's going to get for you? Um, well, I, I like to use one quote, that the limitations exist only in our minds, and if you start using imaginations, then your, your possibilities become limitless. So that's, that's kind of a mindset that I have. I, I use my imagination. I, I do see myself um, achieving more. Uh, I'm hoping I'm working hard on it, not only myself, but the entire team around me. Rule number three, believe. It's incredible how um, the, the excitement is rising uh, as you approach any Grand Slam. Uh, and especially for me here in Paris, the one that I didn't win, um, it's completely different feeling coming to Paris and preparing for Roland Girls than any other event, really. Uh, not in terms of pressure and expectations, but just in terms of excitement and getting on the court and competing and trying to see how far I can get. Um, but that's something I look forward to, really. I mean, I've been building, uh, building up and winning a lot of matches and put, putting myself in really position that maybe I never had before. Um, Prior, you know, prior to Roland Garros, so uh, you know, hopefully this is the year. I, I don't, I don't, I can't guarantee anything. I can't predict anything. I can't say how the tournament is going to go. But I'm going to try to give my, uh, you know, give myself um, uh, reason to believe I can make it uh, through an everyday commitment, discipline, um, and things that I can influence. Rule number four: Appreciate what you have. I appreciate things in life um, and I value everything I have much more because of the past that I had. Mm -hmm. uh, Serbia is a small country, of course, very small comparing to the United States and we had a tough past, especially in the last three decades. We had two wars, we had a uh, sanctions embargo for 10 years, people had to wait in a line for bread and milk and it was, uh, it was tough. I, I've been through all of that with my, with my grandparents, with my parents. Uh, there were times when I was not able to travel for the tournaments in junior circuit because we didn't have the possibility, financial possibilities. But, you know, when I look back, I, um, I'm happy that I had the past like this because, as I said in the, in the beginning, I, it made me appreciate uh, everything I have now. Were, were you and your family uh, in physical danger when you were a kid? Yes, yes, we were. Uh, well, you know, 
I think most people would agree that war is something that uh, do, you know, doesn't bring any good to anybody. Nobody wins in the war, so I don't wish anybody to experience what I and my family or many Serbian people have experienced. You know, you see the planes flying over your head and, you know, and bombs and, peop and you know, people running away, crying, uh, buildings uh, um, burning and so forth. So it's, it's, uh, it's, it was really tough. Um, you were, of course, uh, worried for your survival, what, what the next day brings. But uh, most importantly, we stayed together as people and as family and, uh, you know, it made us stronger. It, it, that never leaves you, does it? You always have that in you, that experience that you live through. Yes, yes, I do. And uh, actually, it has been a big part of my, um, you know, mental strength and and you know ability to to kind of cope with with big moments in in my tennis career and with the pressure and expectations and so forth. And you are able to hang on to that perspective. A, a, a lot of times, things like that that are life changing, one thinks would would be automatic, but sometimes they drift away. But you, you are able to hang on to that each and every every day of your life. Yeah, of course, there are some memories that, that you know, I, I would not like to have, you know, again, but, you know, there are images that, that stick in your mind for all of your life. Uh, but uh, you, you, you can never ask people to, to, to forget, but they can forgive and move on. Right. And I think you can always uh, learn from the experience, uh, try to understand what, uh, you know, what your purpose is and, and why that has happened. And of course, you always be positive. Rule number five, have realistic goals. My lifelong ambition is to become number one in the world. And I know that I'm relatively close to achieving this goal. But I don't want to put any pressure on myself with regards to this aim. It's important to remember that I'm only 21, and there are not many players who have become number one in the world at this age. I simply wish to be realistic in my goal. At the moment, there are two players in front of me who are better than me. I will do all I can to improve by at least one position in the forthcoming year. But I can't say for definite that this will happen. We'll just have to wait and see. Rule number six, always keep growing. Yeah, I believe each season is um, bringing some new challenges um, and allowing you to grow in many levels. So I feel like today I'm a, I'm a more matured as a person. I've um, grown, I have improved, I have learned how to deal with my emotions better and uh, just overall um, um, a stronger player uh, physically and, uh, and mentally as well. So I'm trying to you know, incorporate all these um, experiences and um, things that made me, made me stronger and made me who I am today and of course uh, keep, keep the right path going. Rule number seven, have a holistic approach to life. I think it was Rafa who said that uh, you're having one of the most memorable seasons in the history of the sport. So what are you doing differently this year? <laughs> well, I've been, I've been trying to obviously respect the same kind of uh, um, regime of training um, and kind of a lifestyle and dedication and professionalism to the sport that I've had over the course of the last five, six years. And it's been working really well. I think uh, I just managed to reach, at, at this time of my career and my life, a, a peak mm -hmm. of my abilities, mental, emotional and physical. So everything kind of came together. And uh, so I'm, I'm a more experienced player. Um, I know how to handle pressure on and off the court. So. Uh, I, I, I approach to, to, to the tennis life very holistically, you know, I try to cover every aspect of my life and, and my being in order to, to reach the, that height. Rule number eight, overcome obstacles. If you see the football players, when they win a big title, um, Champions League for example, a lot of them they fall to the ground. Yeah. It's just that there's so, so many emotions going through your mind, through your body. Um, Undoubtedly, there is a huge pressure and expectations and, and the importance of that moment. And you're aware of that. You know, you can't put it aside and say, OK, I'm going to ignore it. No, it becomes a part of you. It consumes you. Now, it's, it's, it's on you if, if you are able to, um, if you are able to overcome that obstacle, to face that, um, uh, I would say, big sensation of mix of doubts, fears, excitement, you know, uh, pressure or so forth. And if you are able to become one with it, 
and then, then it um, allows you to, to get to where you want to be. Rule number nine, chase your dreams. When I was rolling tennis for him, for him back in the evil a se protivnici ljute kad ih pobeđaš? Ne. A ti kad te oni pobede? Ne. Znači pravi fair play. Dobro, a da li se igraš? Pa igram se... Pa igram se noću. Pošto dalje imam školu i treninge, imam i popodne i završim domaći posle treninga i zato se igram noću. Da li je tenis za tebe igra ili obaveza? Pa tenis za mene je obaveza. Šta ti je cilj u tenisu? Cilj u tenisu mi je da postavim prvak. And rule number 10, the last one before a very special bonus clip, is have fun. I, I hope I'll, I'll be able to, to uh, decrease my uh, um, Amforce error um, stat at, uh, comparing to uh, the match that I've had today and hopefully I'll be able to do that and uh, you know, perform my best in that one. Well, congratulations are in order not only for winning this match, Sorry, everybody's uh, laughing. I just want to hear. What did you say? No, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Please be quiet. What did you say? Okay, thanks, buddy. <laughs> right. No more drop shots, huh? I hate to say that, but uh, you are absolutely right. things anymore none of those I don't stick my my ass out anymore okay I don't I don't do this with my I don't do this with my hair anymore so obviously you haven't watched me play recently all right you think it's possible are you sure about this one I'm ready <laughs> <laughs> we go again wait give me best shot <laughs> Ruben Ramírez Hidalgo por Diokovic. Andy Roddick. Andy Roddick. Gene Davis, who had a phenomenal year last year, Bill, coming back for about a three-year layoff. <laughs> 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 what, what do you do? You, you practice Volandri, that? Volandri. 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 Rafa, you have Rafa. Rafa Nadal. 
La bermuda, la verdad. Rafa espera el servicio. You have Sharapova. You have Sharapova. Sharapova. Roger Federer. Career record at the U.S. Open, 41 and 8. Of course, the 1997 champion. Left the game for three years. The ranking has gone from. Six to seventeen. Yeah. Beginning of the year, yeah. the yeah. champion yeah. battling it back, back, and uh, <laughs> she just hasn't gone away. She thinks she's better. That was amazing. <laughs> Zove ga. Demokratska napadnija. Jocu ni ne vole.
your standard. Apple at the core, its core value, is that we believe that people with passion can change the world for the better. Not one drop of my self-worth depends on your acceptance of me. If you like this video, check out the top 10 I did on Roger Federer. The link is right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. The moment I left the, the, the tennis courts, right. I tried to forget what I just did on the tennis court for at least a moment.